You know, I've been searching for a look for handyman clearance. And I think I just found it. Introducing the new and reinvented handyman clearance. Thank you. Thank you very much. In this tutorial, we are doing a DIY farmhouse front porch welcome sign. And I'm going to show you guys how I created my own unique look on this traditional spin that has became a trend over the last couple of years. I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys like my new persona for handyman Clarence. I think I nailed him pretty well. I think he, I think he looks pretty good. Welcome back everybody to a, another Pom Pom Sisters YouTube tutorial. My name is Handyman Clarence. How y'all doing out there? So of course in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how I am making my welcome sign out of some wood left over from a previous project and using some wood stencils, some paint, pen paint, paint, permanent paint pens, permanent paint, pins and we are going to be decorating it for the season and this season is halloween season so i will be showing you guys how i am going my way of creating my welcome home sign so if you are new to the channel Thank you for joining us on your very first tutorial of Handyman Clearance. If this is your second time checking out Handyman Clearance, I don't know why you ain't subscribed yet. Which, which you waiting on, okay? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. So, let's go ahead and get started. I already had a sheet of wood that was just kind of hanging out in my garage just chilling there doing nothing so I decided to take that leftover wood from my previous project when we did our kitchen renovation and I used that to make my welcome sign. My letters were I believe eight inches. I purchased those from Walmart. I also had to buy the black chalk paint. I already had some white paint left over from a previous project so I didn't have to purchase that and I also purchased some uh, paint pens markers. So I'm going to start off by laying out my sheet of wood. I placed my letters on there first so I can kind of gauge how long and how wide I wanted my wood to be. So I did have to cut it, but all that really required was for me to cut the length of it. I did do a five foot tall um, uh, welcome sign. Of course, if you do not have a saw like myself, you can always purchase your wood from Lowe's and they will cut it for you for free. You don't get charged extra for them to cut your wood down to size just in case you're not comfortable with using a wood saw or you can just use the fence post that I've seen a lot of other DIYers use on YouTube. After we do all that, I'm then gonna go ahead and start painting. I went in with a chalk paint because I wanted to have that matte black. I didn't want that glossy shine or anything like that. I wanted a matte black and I wanted my letters to be somewhat glossy, like a, not, not even like semi-gloss, but I just wanted my white to be able to pop on that matte black round, back round. I take a foam roller that I had left over also from a previous project and that is what I use to paint my entire board black as well as the sides. Make sure you paint your sides because you don't want the unfinished sides to you know look all janky when you hang up your wood uh, sign in front of your porch. I then go in with my wood letters that I purchased from Walmart. Unfortunately, they did not have the letter E. I was able to find all the letters except for E. So I kind of had to make shift an E and all I did was just take an F and flip it upside down. Once I traced the top half, I would flip it upside down and trace the bottom half. So I traced all of the wood letters onto my board. I wasn't planning on using the wood letters um, on my board. Of course, if you want to, you can, but since I couldn't find an E, I decided to just use them as a template for me to be able to trace it. And then that's where my white paint 
pen marker comes in and this is what i use sharpie big bold tip marker and i want it bold because my letters of course are huge and i didn't want no little fine point i would have been there all freaking night trying to trace that mess out so i go over the letters i didn't record it because i wanted to make sure i was concentrating I didn't have to worry about my camera being on or set up or anything like that plus it's coloring i don't feel like you need a tutorial on how to color I did do at least two to three coats with this marker for each letter and it was relaxing to me. I really enjoyed just tracing out those letters and going over them and everything. So I make sure I do nice long strokes and try to keep an even hand. I try not to press on it too hardly or too hard because that can kind of strip the layers of paint off and you don't want that. So be very light handed and try to do nice long even strokes. Next, I went on to my numbers. My numbers were already painted black from a previous whoever, or they probably were bought black, I don't know. But I knew I wanted them white, so I just painted them. I originally wanted to spray paint my numbers white, but I didn't have any spray paint, and I didn't want to run back to the store and buy any, so I had some white paint left over from a previous job. I just used that in a brush and painted my letter my numbers white I have to screw those in when i did screw them in i just paint the screws white so that the screw because the screws are silver i didn't want the screws to be seen i wanted my numbers to look all you know uniformed and white and pretty i did have to use a leveler just to make sure that my lever my let my numbers were going to be even i thought i did that correctly when i did my letters but for some uh, somehow or some way my letters ended up kind of like slanting a little bit so there's like a a two inch gap from uh, like where it, it's not straight it's not perfectly straight but my husband couldn't tell i felt like anybody who's like walking up to my front door probably wouldn't tell of course i can tell because it's my work and i did it so i was kind of pissed off at first and i wanted to just like start all over and paint the entire board black all over again or and redo it but I had already did like two to three coats on uh, the letters and I just didn't want to have to go through that all over. So I just say, you know what, it's, it's all good. Once I was uh, um, done placing my letters on there, my, my numbers were screwed on, my letters were all dry, it's now time to hang our beautiful work and I really, really, really liked it. Now, since the season is Halloween and we are featuring our seven days of Halloween on our channel this year, I decided to do a Halloween theme kind of decorum for my welcome sign. So I added some pumpkins, some black spider webs, a little scary hanging guy and um, some uh, skull lights to kind of complete my look. Anything that I had laying around the house or you could just added some simple pumpkins and that would have worked too. My sign looks great. So now I can kind of like decorate it for all times of the season. So of course, with um, Thanksgiving coming up, I'll probably put a nice little fat turkey out there to sit on there. And I'm kind of glad that I put my numbers a little bit higher. At first I was gonna try to make them even with the 
the word welcome, but I decided to place them just a little bit higher because now I have like that little empty blank space right under the numbers where I'm able to decorate with literally anything. So I put like a little box out there, put a skirt over the box to kind of give like some dimension to my pumpkins and some dimension to my decorum. And I really, really, really like it. So now I have a front porch decoration. I had to do mine different. I just couldn't do mine the regular way. I just have to be, I, I, I'm different. I just gotta be different. So thank you for joining us for another Handyman Clearance tutorial. Subscribe to our channel for more Handyman Clearance tutorials. There is an entire playlist on our channel. You can check out everything and anything that Handyman gets his hands on. Flowers for this project doesn't require much skill at all very easy and i try to make it as tool friendly as possible and i also try to make the supply list be as budget friendly as possible thank you guys for joining us we will see y'all on another handyman tutorial please be safe and be blessed and happy halloween